Hey guys, it's your girl Trini. Okay, so I'm a little bit pumped. Okay, now things work out. Things always happen for a reason. They always happen for a reason. Always. I swear, I got all these clothes here to show you a haul I did today, and I can't even. I can't even do it. I can't even do it because you know God works out works things out in mysterious ways, you know, and I'm just so amp, I'm just so amp, and, and I don't even know how to start or what I'm going to say in this video, but I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, so today, I got up, and I put this video on, I, well, I got up, and I put my picture on, um, this group on Facebook, so, you know, before what I first started, and now, and, and this one young lady reached out. This one young lady reached out. And you know, God, boy, he got plans. He got plans. He got plans. I've been talking to this young lady for an hour. You know, so many times you feel you're doing this alone. So many times you feel you by yourself, but you're not. You know, I learned, I learned sometimes uh, the, our worst enemy is in the house. It's in the house with us. The people closest to us. I've been, I said this before. I know I made this video and it's deja vu. But this time it's for somebody else. This time it's for somebody else. It is for somebody else. Our worst enemy is in the house. The people in the house that say they love us is the one who hold us back the most. You have no idea. Oh yeah, you do. You have idea because it's happening to you. See, it's happening to you. See, it's happening to you. But you know what? At the end of the day, this is your journey. At the end of the day, this is your fight. And at the end of the day, this is for you. So, um, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So, PJ, you need to go. 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 You need to go. 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 You tell you something. You, you have to take control. You have to take control. And sometimes you're going to lose people in the process. You are. You're going to lose people that say that they love you. You're going to lose people that say that you can't, they care about you. Some people can't handle the transformation. Some people cannot handle the new you. It's, it's, imita it's it, it, intimidating to them. Oh, no, you look good the way you are. You don't, you, you don't need to lose another pound. But you walk in with a cane. How is that okay? How is that okay? You, you, you're perfect the way that you are, but you're walking with a cane. That is not okay. Okay, because you know in your mind and you know in your heart, this is not okay. You know you have to do better for you. You know this. So them telling you it's okay, you're perfect at the size 26, health wise, it's not okay. It wasn't okay for me. And if you're comfortable in that skin, then that's fine. But really, it's not okay. It's really, please guys, don't hate me. This is not about, you know, me knocking anybody. But really, I'm just reaching out to the people that want to fight. That don't want to be the size 26, 28. My highest weight is size 32. And there's a lot of people don't want to be that. And can't have surgery. Or don't want to have surgery. And just know. I said, close my door. Close my door. It's too much, too much noise. Too much noise. Listen, listen, listen. You got to fight. This is your journey. This is your fight. They may not want to do it, but they don't have to do it. You have to do it. This is your fight. This is your fight. You just... Okay. Well, my, hundred, my husband is 400 pounds. I'm 500 pounds. He doesn't want me to lose weight. He says I'm perfect the way that I am. I'm fighting for my life. I'm trying to lose this weight. But I can't breathe because he doesn't want me to lose his weight. Oh, you might just have to lose the husband. I'm sorry. You might have to lose the, the husband. Because of the, you, you'll figure that out along the way. See, you see, I already said, this time around, if you're walking this road with me, we can't walk the road. I'm tired of losing and gaining 100 pounds. You have to understand my fight for you to understand my struggle. You, 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 you just have to be living the life or been out of the life or truly understand to respect 
my journey. If you ain't been down this fight, if you ain't never had this struggle, you could never respect my journey. Oh, today is going to be okay. Oh, yeah, I, I support you, honey. I support you. Oh, yeah, I love it. I support you. You want to be healthy? I support you. But then you lose 20 pounds. Oh, you don't need to lose no more. You don't need, you good. You good. How in the hell 280 pound is good on anybody? Uh, I'm not talking about curves. I'm talking about health-wise. How is 280 pounds? How is 500 pounds? How is 300 pounds on anybody joints? It's good. It's not good for you. It's not good for your heart. It's not good for your cholesterol. It's not, it's not good. So if you have it in your heart to push forward, then you push forward. And I learned me pushing forward cost me a couple of pounds, 200 pounds. Because me believing in me cost me 200 and some odd pounds. But when I dropped that 200 and some odd pounds, baby, I got so light that weight started falling off. Do you understand me? Because I always believe in me. And I always know what I was capable of. And you have to believe in you. And you have to know what you're capable of. And sometimes it's going to cost you to lose some. It's going to cost you to lose a whole bunch of pounds. It, it just might. Be prepared for that. Be prepared that it's a possibility that you might lose a whole bunch of pounds. Because I swear to God, sometimes your biggest critics, sometimes your worst enemy is right in the house with you. It's in the bed you lay in. It's in your house. What you gonna do? You know how hard it is for you to be fighting for help and somebody feeding you chips? You fighting for help and somebody feeding you burger? You fighting for help? Or you can have one. No, I cannot have one. So you can have one. You can have a bread. You can have a sandwich. You can stop. You can have one sandwich and you can stop. My greedy ass can't have one sandwich. Because one sandwich is going to turn into two and two. It's going to turn into half a loaf of bread. Because I'm a bread addict. So I cannot have a sandwich. You can have a sandwich. And if you understand my struggle and you understand my fight, then you will know not to tell me no damn nonsense, but I can have a damn sandwich. Because you will know that is my weakness. You won't tell me have a sandwich. When I feel like I'm breaking, honey, you're going to bring me some watermelon. You're going to bring me some pineapple. You're going to bring me some kiwis cut up, you know, in a plate or decorate. Oh, here, yeah, honey. You know, you don't need the chips here. You can have this. No, you, you don't need that. Here is some grilled chicken. You, you can have some protein. Because they understand your fight. Because they understand your struggle. This shit ain't easy. It ain't easy. And it's harder when you have to fight it alone. It's harder when you have to fight the demons in your house. It, you know what? It's easier to fight it alone than it is to have people in your house that don't understand your struggle. It's so much harder. It is so much harder. But you ain't alone. Oh God, you ain't alone. It's so much support groups out here. When you feel you alone in your house, you might be alone in the house, but you're not alone on the journey. So you better reach out to them groups on Facebook. It's so much weight loss groups, so much support groups. You're not alone. You're not alone. I understand the struggle. Tanya, baby girl, I understand your struggle, honey. You is not alone. And the phone got cut off, but I just needed to make this video and just know I understand your fight. And you just made a very good friend. Because guess what? Every step you make, I know. When the feet hurt, I know. When you're feeling weak, I know. I understand. When you say, I just can't do it no more, I know. When you slip up and you mess up, I know. When you feel like you just... <laughs> I ain't got it in me no more. I ain't got it. I can't do this no more. I done gained five pounds. I done gained 10 pounds. I done gained 50 pounds. How am I going to even get up and do this again? You can. You know, see, talk to you over the weekend. And see, we was talking for a while. We do that once a year, twice a year, catch up. And she said to me, <laughs> you know, 
when you came back on YouTube this time, I said, oh yeah, <laughs> she ain't gonna pull it off like she did the first one or two times she did it. Cause she's older, she's almost 40 now. She ain't gonna be able to pull it off the way she did. And she said to me, she said, next thing you know, I saw you come up talk about I'm back. And I said, yeah, okay, yeah, you're back again. Mm -hmm. She said, I went away from Mike, came back, and I was like, what in the world? And I went away and came back, and I was, she was like, what the fuck are you smoking? You, you're melting. And she said, you know, I didn't, I didn't think you can do it. I didn't think you can do it. Not a natty. Natty, I didn't think you can do it, but you did it. And I said, see, so many times I, I, I fall and so many times I say, I'm going to have surgery. I'm going to have surgery. I'm going to find me somebody to give me some surgery. I'm going to have surgery. But guess what? I ain't got no damn money. I can't do no damn surgery. I can't afford the surgery. So I got to fight. And, you know, very, almost a lot of people next to me had surgery. My sister, Suella, my sister, Jean. See, and a lot more people around me had had surgery, you know, and they always look up to me, no matter how many times I fall, they look up, there's like, Trin, Nat, they call me Nat, Trin, the one, you know, you never gave up, you fell, you got up, you fell, you got up, she says, many times you have fallen, I didn't think you have it in you, one more time to get up, but I'm up, I'm up. And if I fall tomorrow, I may get depressed, I may get sad, but I'm going to get up again. Because it's in me, like I tell people, I'm a muscle head and a fat girl body. If you know me, you know I'm about to fuck some guns, I'm about to get it. You don't understand. This is who I am. It's my passion. I get up sleeping. I go to sleep thinking about workout. I get up thinking about workout. If I have it my way, I will build a whole empire about workout. It's going to be all about staying healthy. It's all about being fit. It's all about living this healthy life because that's what I dream it, I crave it, I eat it, I sleep it. I want it. I need it. I'm going to have it. I know I'm rambling. And this may or may not touch somebody. But just know that you can do it. I ain't even get to put up. None of my stuff that I, I done shot for today. And maybe I'll do it tomorrow. But right now, this message needs to get out to somebody. So, with that being said, don't give up. Don't give up. You really got to give up. Okay, so what you slipping you fell? That I was telling young lady, hey, I broke my damn shoulder. Before I broke my shoulder, two weeks before I broke the shoulder, I end up in the hospital with, 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 with whatever it was in my damn feet. Doctor told me I had to stay off my foot for a month. Did I listen? No. My ass went and got some Asex and I kept on walking. Two weeks later, what happened? I fell and broke my shoulder. My shoulder is not 100. I know I'm walking around here doing stuff, but my shoulder is not 100. Flush broke my shoulder. Doctor said, you can't walk because we can't cast you. So you have to wear a sling. And you have to be sling. And you can't walk because it's going to damage the brain. Did I listen? No. My ass was walking two days later with no pain pill because I don't like pain medication. I didn't listen. I kept my ass out there. And the nurse, I walked past the hospital every day. She said, girl, you know you're not supposed to be walking. I said, yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. My poor friend Nona had to come and strap up these titties in a bra for me. But could, could you help me put on a bra? Because I'm going working out. And I put on them pants that was big, that was easy for me to pull up like this. And my hair like this. And I put on my shoe like this. And I was getting them. I couldn't do five miles, but I was going to get something. And I was like, don't tell nobody I'm walking because I know YouTube was going to slide on my ass. My girlfriend at the time was going to slide on my ass. Everybody was going to slide on my ass. So I, I just... Tell my friend, could you help me sling up these bad boys in a bra? And I'm out of here. I'm going to walk. You have to want it. You have to want it bad enough. I'm not telling you damage yourself. I'm just telling you, you have to want this. Because it's all about you, baby. It's all about you. Ain't nobody can do this for you but you. 
So it's already 15 minutes and I'm not going to stay here. Please don't give up. Don't give up. I'm not perfect. And a year, two years from now, I might be the 300-pound girl all over again. Come and talk about I done gained some weight. And, and I'm, I'm back again. But I'm going to keep fighting. I pray to God that never happened, but I'm going to keep fighting. If I can do it, you can do it. Please, don't give up. This is your journey. Later.